I am about ready to blow your minds. We have a 1961 Bonneville bubble top right here. It's a 389 with the 348 horsepower tri-power, factory four speed, factory posi rear end, factory original eight lug wheels. This car was born like you see it. 1961 was the first year you could order Pontiac historical documentation. They looked up the VIN number on their microfilm. They completely verified this car for me. The colors, the options. This is an extremely rare car. They made about a quarter million 389 motors that year. About 1,300 of them were the 389, 348 horsepower. Imagine how many still exist today that are original to the car. And this one is the original to this car because there's a unit number on this paperwork that is stamped on that engine. It's a documented, number matching, true blue, extremely rare car. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Uh, oh, I'm holding this because the glove box pouch, Brownell Pontiac in Alabama, guess what it says on here? Brownell Pontiac has the original key tag on it from 1961. Really cool car. The more I'm around this car, the more impressed I'm getting. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read my story. That's where you can look at all the pictures, top to bottom. That's where you'll find a price tag along with the finance, monthly finance option as well. And that's available on every car we sell. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Okay, so this has never been body off frame restored. It's just a really nice survivor car that's been painted and maintained and restored as needed. The underside of this car, zero rust. The floors, the braces, the rockers, even the lower inner quarter panels, to me, looked like it was all bone dry, original metal. I didn't see any cuts, patches, uh, rust repair. So rock solid metal. The brakes, their drum brakes all around, disc wasn't even thought of yet. The, the eight lug wheel, the hub in the middle is the actual brake drum. So this wheel is the brake. So kind of a unique thing. We'll talk more about the wheels in a little bit. Has a great sounding dual exhaust. You'll hear that at the end of this video. I'm gonna to refer to my notes so I don't mix things up here. Uh, Trying to remember what kind of mufflers were on there. Original type, so original type mufflers, it sounds great. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's nice and clean. It has the uh, correct T10 four-speed transmission. It's a new Hearst Competition uh, shifter that's in there. It has its original safety track. That's what Pontiac calls their posi rear end, and it has the original safety track tag still attached to it. Uh, the rear shocks were replaced. There's airbags in the rear springs. Some miscellaneous front end components uh, have been done. Uh, yeah, I said the front end looks clean. And all our cars are serviced. The lead mechanic uh, test drives them, puts them on the lift, makes his list, and then uh, has the mechanics fix the car. So all of our cars are gone through, looked at, and serviced. They run and drive very well. So the underneath is clean, respectable, nice original piece. Let's look at the body. It's amazing. Laser beam straight. Well, they start at the top. They call this the bubble top. See the bubble here? So that's what it became known as, the bubble top. The roof is repainted white like it was originally, no issues. The body is laser beam straight. It is a mirror finish down to the bottom. All pristine body. Not a bubble, not a dent, not a crack. I don't see any issues. I don't see any body work showing. This is all pristine. This is outstanding. The gaps are spot on, and I'm very confident this is all the original metal. This is so clean, smooth, all down here, lines up beautifully. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Pinky. Nice. Pristine, smooth, clean, straight, nice, clean fenders. I'm telling you, the more I'm around this car, when 
we ordered the PHS papers. I don't think it was ever ordered for this car. It was the first time ever ordered, and it, it showed up. I was so shocked and, and pleased that it was born like you see it. The body just gets better and better the more I look at it. Laser being straight. I mean, this, this is an absolutely stunning body. Now we're going to talk about the paint. It's the original color. I think it's called Coronado Red. It is metal flake. Uh, it's a shell tone ivory roof. This paint job is like a piece of wet candy. It is wet sanded and polished like glass. Usually I apologize for little imperfections. I'm not even seeing any. I'm sure there are some. But overall, this is a piece of polished wet candy. Absolutely stunning. Oh, that's a piece of dirt. So the paint is gorgeous. They could have wet sanded the roof a little better. There's some dust nubs in the paint, probably because it's white. Thought it wouldn't show as much. You have to look for it. So the white is good. The metallic red is amazing. I love these tail fins, this chrome bumper. Got a little dent right here. Might be the original bumper. It just has a very light amount of wear or scuffs. Tail lights are real nice. The Bonneville emblem's really good. All the chrome here is real nice. Oh, here is a chip. There's a chip in the paint right there. This molding all the way down the sides, nice and clean and straight. Bonneville gold letters. The original mirror has some freckling in the chrome. The Bonneville is seven inches longer than their base models. This is the top of the line. This is their best Pontiac had to offer that year, and someone ordered it with all the special performance equipment. Windshield's probably original, has just enough patina, but nothing significant. All these stainless moldings are all really nice original. Love these doodads on the fenders. Looks like you have some custom tri-bar headlights in there. The grill, the bumper. This front bumper has been re -chromed. This is nice bright chrome. All this looks to be in great shape. The wheels, real quick. I even looked it up. The eight lug wheels change slightly year after year. These are the original wheels. It has this like outline you probably can't see, but there's this ridge that goes around the lug nuts. That's correct for this year car. Those are the original wheels. They have BF Goodrich radial tires on there, red lines. They really look great. So you got two deluxe mirrors. You have the correct antenna. The original rubber around the vent window does have some cracks in it. Let's see how this door does. Nice. So yeah, I'm almost out of breath. I'm so excited about this car. You can probably tell. This big back window is super nice and clear. Let's open it up. I'm going to tell you a lot more about it. Can't wait to show you that motor. This car is just going to keep getting better and better. I'm not going to lose enthusiasm. If you watch my videos, you know how I love when the doors click shut. Well, check this out. The trunk does the same thing. Shuts like new. Anyway, underneath the trunk lid is painted slick, and it has one of these lights that I also really love. It unwinds a retractable light. I think this goes all the way to the motor compartment, and then when you're done, you wind it back up. I say to this day, all cars should have that. Now that it's unplugged for some reason, maybe it stays on, so someone unplugged it to be safe. But painted real nice, the jam is slick, the weather strip is replaced. Now look at this giant trunk compartment. All rock solid metal, and it has the red and gray liner kit, the side panels, the tire cover, and I'm gonna assume this is a eight lug wheel that's underneath here. And I got another cover here to remove. Yep, it's an eight lug wheel. The base for the jack is there, and here's where the rest of the jack, this is where it's supposed to be. And I believe this is the original paint. Got some surface rust from moisture underneath there, but I believe that's original. So a complete trunk compartment, very nice and clean. There's a box hidden over there. That's a reverb. If you remember the old Pontiacs had that twangy sound. I didn't get that to work just yet, but it does have it. So 
the door jams are painted really slick. The weather strips were replaced. Sill plates are shiny. Door panels, those are original from 1961. Down in the carpet area, you notice they put some speakers in there. The armrests were replaced. I don't want to forget to mention this steering wheel. This clear plastic steering wheel is original and there's no cracks in it. These are like 1800 bucks to have them restored. This is an original, best one I've seen. So it has the padded dash, the whole instrument panel, the chrome, the knobs. Uh, all this is in excellent shape. It has a Wonder Bar radio. I actually turned it on, thought it didn't work, and then it takes a minute to warm up. It came on, the Wonder Bar was working. I wasn't picking up stations in here. And then this is the switch for the reverb. That's why I said it doesn't, I don't know if it works because I didn't have a chance to get the radio on. Um, you got the grab bar here. Glove box is real nice. So they did add a Mark IV air conditioner. I turned it on, it blows cold. Got some gauges here so you can keep an eye on the engine. I did upgrade the four speed shifter. New carpet, you got the original Pontiac mats. The uh, two-tone upholstery looks to be original, uh, in really nice shape. Look how nice the back seat is, and the armrest, and the side panels, the rear speaker shelf. Something else that's cool, we got stars on the headliner. You look up at the stars, but this is a map light. This was optional. This is on the Pontiac paperwork, uh, and it works. And you. Oh, this light's not working, but that side is. Let me hit the switch. No, there is no switch. So, stars on the headliner and visors. And if we could take a second to talk about the Pontiac Historical Papers. So, this is the um, number that's on the motor. So, we know it's number matched. They were not VIN number matched. So, having this uh, says that it is the original motor. Here's options that it came with. That's for this car. This car came with these options. Four speed, safety track, aluminum wheels. They made 1,352 of these motors in all Pontiacs. They made a quarter million or more Pontiac 389s. Only that many uh, were this high horsepower. And then here's the colors. So again, this car is absolutely documented. That's right from Pontiac Historical. Now let's check out the motor. I bought this car in Alabama. I was born in Alabama, so I'm gonna assume it's lived down there its whole life. It's had a nice, easy life. So they had a 389, they had a two barrel, a four barrel. They had a tri-power with like 318 horsepower. This is the bad boy. This is the 348 horsepower. Uh, so it's the top of the line tri-power. Looks like it has the correct carburetors on it. Probably would have had one big giant air cleaner originally. It's common people put these on. They do have an electric choke on here now. The motor was rebuilt. This is the original paint on the firewall. You can see the heater box and control valves all nice. They neatly added air conditioning and a serpentine belt system. All the pulleys are aluminum. Has the original washer bottle or overflow bottle, but there are two electric fans that keep it running cool. Remember, it came from Alabama. Chrome alternator, chrome power steering, <clears throat> factory power brakes. Just nice, clean, respectable. You got hood insulation, you got battery disconnect. But that, that's one rare motor right there. This is an early muscle car. You can hear it out the tailpipe and you can hear the three carburetors opening up and sucking in that air. It's got a nice lopy idle. Ah, it 
Porsche. That's nice. So you got a 79,000 mile Alabama car. Obviously, he's never been molested or abused because it still has the original key tag. Born the way you see it with the addition of factory air, which I'm sure you can appreciate that. Not factory air, aftermarket air. Here we go. Ah. This is investment grade uh, material here, folks. This isn't just another 61 Pontiac. Oh, even the hood shuts like new. I can go on and on. Go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman. They'll help answer your questions. They'll help get it delivered to your door, and they'll get you financing at volocars.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. We've got some great cars still coming up. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait, I got five more minutes.